Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. Today's episode starts with a photo I found of my folks. And it needs a very special frame. Inexpensive would be nice too. So let's make one. Join us. The supplies you'll need for this project are a photo, a photo frame. You'll need some decorative paper, a paintbrush, tight bond wood glue, and you'll need some varnish. You'll need an X-Acto knife. You'll need some plexiglass and a pair of scissors. So let's go. What I loved about this photo was the sepia tone quality of it. It's got an old world feel to it. So when I decorate a frame, I wanted to try to capture that or at least get close to matching it. So what I needed besides the photo, I needed a frame. And at my craft store, they had these wooden frames, very simple. It has a dowel where you can place the dowel in the little hole and you can present the frame in horizontal or you can go in vertical. So I needed a vertical frame for our photo and that's a good fit. 99 cents for that frame. That was a great value. Then how was I going to decorate it? I thought about painting and I thought paper. I went down the paper scrap aisle and you can purchase a piece of paper for anywhere from 59 cents up to $1.99 and above, depending on what you want to get. And then I found this paper book. It's got 48 sheets of decorative paper in it. And now this book sold for $20, but you get 48 sheets of paper to choose from. On top of that, it was buy one, get two free. So now I have 144 to choose from. That ends up being about 14 cents a piece. Now I've got my paper, I've got my frame. What I wanted to do is choose a paper to adhere to the photo frame. That meant going through the book, and it's amazing how the picture changes when you put a different background on it. So I went through all six books that I had gotten and just experimented with the colors and the sheets that I liked. And I came up with a few finalists here. Now that one, to me, I liked some of the colors, but it's a little too busy. Let's see, this here I liked, but I thought the gold was too competing with the photo. This was a little too busy and modern, a little too pink. I finally landed on this one here, and I'm not sure why except I think the dark gray pinks kind of pull out the sepia tone colors. So to begin with this project, we have the photo, we have the frame, and I've chosen the paper. I need a 10 by 12 piece of this paper, and it is a 12 by 12 piece, so I need to cut off two inches. What I'm gonna do there is measure out 10 inches, get my pencil, and make a little mark right here. Then I'll use another piece that's the same size as that, and I'm gonna use it to buddy up. I know this is square. So I'm gonna find that little mark I made right there. Now if you have a 12 by 12 piece, no problem, this one has that little extra, so ignore that. We have a two inch piece we're gonna pull off. So I'm just lining up the piece with the one underneath, and I'm gonna hang on, and I'm gonna make a pencil mark all the way down. I'm sure there's other ways to measure it, but this is how I'm measuring mine. Come all the way down with your pencil. Now we have our line to cut. Scissors. Cut, cut, cut. All right, we have our piece. Now I'm going to flip it over. We want 12 inches long by 10. And I wanna make sure the pattern is gonna go up or down the way I like it on the frame. A way that you can do that is to hold the frame up to the light and you can see I'm sure you can't see but I can see how the frame shines through and I can position my paper how I think I'd like it to be so that's what I'm going to do and now I know that I've got 10 by 12 and I'm going to measure 
it's a little less than two inches around each side. So I will just loosely adjust. So that one's two, this one's, yeah, we gotta push it up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be exacting unless you'd like it to be. I'm gonna f wrap it up kind of like a gift wrap. So there's two. And I've done a few of these, I'm getting better at eyeballing it. I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit. And I'm going to glue this end to the wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue and put it on this area here. Okay, I'm kinda eyeballing it. And then I'm gonna use my brush to smooth it out because I really don't want it to be bubbly. I'm not gonna put glue in that hole although it could be put there. I'm gonna use my brush just to smooth it out. So I'm only going on this bottom section with the glue. I wanna leave that hole empty because if you wanna change out the picture, you can use the frame again by not filling that hole. And now I'm just gonna very carefully pull this piece up. Now I'm gonna line it up, line up this edge with the edge in the frame there, see that? I'm just going to press down. Try to get it right. It's a little bit, little bit slidey there with the glue, but in a moment, this wood glue bonds really well with the paper. It's all porous. It's really good. And I just hold that down for a moment. And when it's stuck, I'll pull it a little bit to tighten up. So we've gone what a few seconds here and see it's already bonded. Before I move on to the next spot I want to find that little circle that was there. And I did that by I used a crochet hook with a little end and it just came around where I thought that spot it's right there. You can feel a little divot in the paper and I just push through and I'm making, I just go around and around like that. So what I've done is there's a little bit of glue on each side of the paper, and now the paper's stuck nicely, but the hole isn't jammed up with, with glue, so that if I want to, I can push the dowel in, and we can use the frame that way too. Just want to keep the options open. So this is all glued. Now I'm going to hang on here and just pull the paper so I can get a better edge on the bottom here. I want it to be a little tighter. I'm not putting glue on the bottom, but that's okay. It ends up being a little bit of a poofy look on the frame, but that's okay. So I'm going to pull that up, and I'm going to pull this over, and I'm going to start getting a measurement. This paper is really great. I'm pulling and tugging on it, it doesn't rip. And what I'm doing here, now I am going to fold up to get an idea where that edge is. Okay, and then see how there's too much? I'm just going to eyeball that and I'm going to cut that off. So I see I have a little line here. You could mark that off if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and cut. All right. So now we have a better idea of how that's going to fit. And I'm going to measure again, because if it's a little too much, I can pull more off. But see how close that is? That's perfect. Now, I want to know, oh, there's the hole over there. Don't have to worry on this side. So I'm going to do what I did before. I've got this creased a little bit down here. I'm going to lay down the glue and smooth it out with my brush. If I don't smooth it out, it's going to be bumpy. I don't want the paper to be bumpy. So I'm going to smooth you out. Good. And I'm going to pull it up and let it bond. Think about wrapping a present, but I don't want all the excess there. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to come along using the frame as a guide. I'm just going to make a snip, not all the way to the edge. See? And snip this side using the frame as the edge. I'm not snipping down in, I'm leaving a little bit, and then I'm going to come up the side and meet that up. Okay, the same here. 
beat that up. And we do the same on the other side. So here's what we've got. Let's work on this side first. I'm going to, using that little bit of extra, I'm going to push it in. It's almost like you're folding down. I, don't want, I want that seam to kind of be protected a little bit. And I'm using my thumb to just push the fabric or the paper in. Like I said, think about like wrapping a gift. Okay, so you see how I push that in. And I push up against the frame and I'm making a crease just using my fingernail. And we do that again. I'm going to curve this down just a little bit. I've got a little bit extra material there. And I'm just going to pull it in. It curls around a little bit. That's good. And I'm pushing in on the corner. This frame has a little bit of a curve to the edge of it. So I'm just kind of following that curve. And I'm pushing in along the edge there. And then letting it crease. Okay. Let's finish up this side. I want to keep track of where this one is because if the frame is going to be vertical. And I'm also going to pull up. And you can see how most of the frame is covered, but there's too much here. So I'm going to snip off a little bit of that. And there's again, I'm just eyeballing it. I need just a little bit snipped off. Just a little bit too much. Take just a teeny little teeny bit off. All right, there we go. A little bit of the frame is showing, but that doesn't bother me. It's on the back side. If you didn't want the wood to show at all, you could come back in with a complimentary paint color and touch up the spots you don't like. So we've got them this far, but I want to make very sure I find out where that hole is. So as I'm pulling this up, I'm going to feel around. There's the divot. You see that just with my hand. Now take the crochet hook, find that little divot, okay, and then I'm going to poke through for your glue. This time I want to put glue only where this paper is and a little bit down into the seam. So I'm going to kind of put a little bit of glue down here. Do not fill that hole. <laughs> we won't be able to put the dowel in and it will not stay up. And even down here, I want to just smooth it all out. I don't want bumps. I'm kind of pushing the glue into the little crevices there in the paper, pulling it around, and then just make this smooth. Okay. Done with you for now. And we just pull that up. Don't worry about the hole in the paper because we're going to take care of that again in a minute and so as that is bonding take the little hook go around in and the paper there is covering up the hole on the edges which looks real nice and clean and there we have that edge I'm not too worried about the edges on the photo frame I think that's just fine and that's bonded so then we flip it over and do the same thing Kind of push down in that little excess bit of material there of paper and I'm just using my thumb and if it rips just kind of push together and when we come through with the varnish decoupage that will help seal that so you don't have to worry about that you don't want a big rip but if it rips a little bit it will not show add some glue a little bit down in the crevice no hole to worry about on this side. So we will use our brush. Catch all these drippies down there and underneath the paper. There we go. I'll let that dry for a moment and we'll move on to the next step. There we go. So here's where we're at. You know, if you put a bow on that, that'd be a really cute holiday decoration, wouldn't it? So here comes the next part. What I'm going to do is remove that inner part. So I'm going to take all these little 
holders, the metal holders that hold the frame in, or hold the picture in, put them up so I can get my X-Acto knife in here and cut out that center. So first I want to put down a protective barrier. And boy, I tell you, when you throw out cereal boxes and stuff, this thing is really tough cardboard. I've got two layers here, and I'm gonna use that for my cutting. Really good stuff. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife, and here again, you're gonna use the photo frame. Use the wood to your advantage. And I'm gonna start up at the corner and just very gently pull along the edge of the frame. I'm flipping the frame around. I'm coming around again with this corner. Just, just gently go around the corner. If it's a little bit off, we'll fix that. There we go. That's about there. See now this stuff, that gives you a very nice cut. We're done with our protective board. Look at the slices in the board. That's, that's some good protective stuff. Anyways, here we are. Yep, there's the photo. That's the way our, fo our frame is going to be. Next, I've got to see these little spots for these gaps. And I want to fix that by using the brush again and using some of my glue. And this time I'm going to put some into a bowl so that I can work the brush into the glue. And then I'm going to tip this forward. And I'm going to come in between the two. See how there's glue on both sides of the brush? I'm going to come in between. You don't pull real hard. You see how there's a gap in there that the brush easily goes into. Go back and forth. You're going to put glue on the wood and on the paper. And look at how that adheres. Let's hold it down. Now this is where I found too that if any glue comes spilling out, as you're holding it down. And I did a good job, there's none spilling out. <laughs> but if it does, you can just use your finger to run along the edge so that edge gets really nice and crisp. See how nice that looks? So all you do, go around the frame and do again. Let it adhere. See how some squishing out there. That's okay. I see in a moment it bonds. If your cutting is a little bit off that I think I was there, I'm just kind of pressing in as I go this time. And I think that edge, see, kind of hides the imperfection of not having it exactly straight. There's our frame so far. Next step, we're going to varnish this. Let me get a piece of cardboard again to protect the table. And let's add some varnish. I don't really want to add it directly to the paper. I'd rather come in with my, my brush. So I guess you could do that, but I'm gonna do it the safe way. And look at how the color changes. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm coming over the edges a little bit. I am going to do the back side as well. I know which way the photo is going to be situated in the frame, so I wanted to keep my brush strokes, uh, in this case, up and down. It's bubbling up a little bit, but I don't mind that. Okay, let that dry, and then we'll do the back side. I'm using the hairdryer to speed things along in the drying. And there's a little bit of bubbling up going on here, and I actually like that. It looks like an old-timey quilt. I just think that's, that's nice. I'm going to run with that. Okay, we're not sticky anymore on that side, so I'm going to shellac or varnish this side. And here's where, if you're worried about any nicks or tears, this will take care of it. I put a little bit, not extra too much, but make sure I get into that crease. And here we go. And I'm going to try not to get this into the holes for the dowels. And I think I got it here. I'm looking for the shine. Yes, it 
time to dry. All right. I keep drying until the stickiness goes away. So the next thing you will need here is the plexiglass. And the plexiglass is going to act like the glass. Well, the plexiglass is going to protect the photo. And what we did was we went to our home improvement store and we bought a sheet of plexiglass. It was a 28 by 30 sheet and we cut it into four by six squares so that they would fit into the photo frames. We bought that 28 by 30 piece of plexiglass for $23. So when you take this piece of plexiglass and cut it down, you'll get enough pieces it ends up being about a dollar a piece. We have our sheet of plexiglass all cut and ready to insert into the frame. I'm gonna make sure this one's gonna fit before I snap it in there. Yes, it's going to, good. The plexiglass comes with protective film over it. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to put that side down because that's the side with the least amount of fingerprints. <laughs> or I'm going to take a little piece of paper towel. Before I put the photo in, I just want to make sure any of my little prints are not in there. Oh my goodness, static. Now, here's the show and tell. The doll's there. This is a piece came in. Picture back in. Make sure it's facing the right direction. And then this is the insert that came with the photo frame. It's a nice piece of cardboard. So I'm going to lay that in there to give added protection. And these little guys get bent back in. That kind of hurts. <laughs> Bend these little pieces of metal back in to hold the picture in place. Okay, stick our dowel in. So I'm going to take a peek. Oh my, oh my. Okay, I'm going to say that after all these years, this old photo finally has a proper frame. I think it's just lovely. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to listen for the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, grab your old photos, grab a picture frame, some paper, and honor that photo with a lovely frame of its own. See you again.